Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we are on air. My queen, Jolene's on the camera, and Doug is in the house. Hey, Doug, man. yesterday, I thought we were pretty well finished yesterday, but when Doug left yesterday and we were messing around inside the car, when we got inside the car, the roof was still covered in a bunch of hair and crap that was on the roof before. Insulation. There was a piece of metal hanging off the side of the roof. Jolene said, wow, we can't drive that like that. And she was totally right. So Doug was called in this morning to give me a hand because I cannot get the seat out myself or else I probably would have went for it, but Doug, I needed Doug's hand. He was happy to come in. I appreciate it. But he's got the roof all scraped down and we got the piece of metal cut out that we desired and it looks fantastic. Very happy with it. We had to take the seat back out and do the roof up top and get that done. Um, it just blacked it out back here. There was a bunch of stuff that was in there. Basically, another thing too, we painted the car. We showed you us painting it with the brush. When I come out and tried to sand it with a piece of sandpaper, I did not like it. I liked the way it looked like this. This is the way I liked it. Um, the car is finished in my books. It's finished. We've got the back trunk lid on. We've got the cart done. We've got the interior in it. We've got the paint on it. To me, it is finished. All we have to do now is what we're, what we're going to do is, for me, you know, for me, we're going to open the doors, pull the car out. I want to take Doug for a little drive up the road, see what it rides like, because there's been a lot of things done to this car. It's just been sitting here. We started it yesterday, and I'm hoping it's going to start again today. I'm hoping. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And then when we, when we go down, we'll turn it around. We'll come back. You'll get to see the visual of it. And then we'll come back, and we'll go over the whole thing a little bit. And then I'm going to take my Queen Jolene for a little scat. How's that, baby? Let's do it. We'll get the doors open. Doug wants to help me on the door there, my old buddy. We'll get the doors open. The car, to me, I think looks fantastic. I think it looks fantastic. I do not mind the green paint that we put on it. Do not mind at all. It got green paint on the front of it. It's got a fantastic stance. Fantastic. I'm just over the moon with it. Ready? Yep. Oh, I don't know if I can get this. Yeah, we can get this one. Lucky. Excellent. Lucky. Excellent. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia today. We're not generally opening the doors up in the winter time. No, we're not. I'm gonna move a couple things here. I'll get it pulled out, baby, and then we'll go around the front and thanks, Doug. You you wanna watch me, Doug, in case I don't hit anything? Be fantastic. Appreciate it. Today's a day of cleaning and salivating that we got it done. So we're gonna clean uh, the shop up, but I wanna take Doug for a little scoot in it. We had the stainless cut a little longer in the back. And when I put it on, where I, where I flattened the seam out, it didn't look good. There was a, it rolled up there, but it didn't roll up way back here where I had it cut to. So I had to cut it again because I did not like it. So I put the spear there, I think, that's where I ended the body line, so that's where I had to put the spear and I had to stick with it. I do not mind it. So I'll get her rocking and rolling, see if she'll go again. It's always a good day when you, when you feel like you've accomplished something. And uh, I feel like we've accomplished this car now. I'm just kind of wondering if I should, I'm just gonna choke it instead of, instead of uh, putting on the electric pump. I turn it on. What they do? On. We got no power. What they do? <laughs> Are you serious? What's the combination? Well, I got. That. I must have left the key on. Oh no, did you? I think maybe I did. Oh, All right, let's open the hood. Hope it didn't burn the points out of it. From what I understand, you can... I didn't want to do that, but I did. We have a smaller one in the... Just not sure if this is going to take it out. Negative. Oh, 
Don't want to set that there, Doug? I wonder, I wonder if I left the key on this. Didn't thought I did. I thought I shut it off, but maybe I didn't. Huh. What's going on? No power anywhere. The key's got to stay on. Huh? Nothing? Nada? Nada. Not a thing. All right. We're going to go to, I'll go down to the truck and get the other one, I guess. Well, bing bang. It's not what I was thinking I was doing, but. Is it a clutch button? Do you have to put this, push the clutch? Got the clutch in. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that for a minute. Got it off. Turned off. Didn't I turn the switch on when I went and did that? Thought I did. Anyways, let's try. Son of a bitch. You gotta keep an eye on it. You keep an eye on. <clears throat> well, it says it's on. Don't know what that does. I hope I didn't burn the points out of it, but it's not turned over, so. Come on, baby. Huh? At least, at least turn over. something I think it must be my stir my st guess I'm not gonna start now take take that off Oh my Lord, have mercy on me. Oh no. <laughs> You're not even getting a cell note click out of it or nothing. That's what I'm kind of wondering. Like. Yeah, usually it would click on the solenoid at least. It would, its points would not make it not turn over. That would no. just make it not start. Yeah, like, exactly. You got that right. I mean, we didn't do anything. Didn't do anything to it, did we? No. Ain't that something? There is a wire that's off there. No. You do have a possible run right in the unfusible link. Oh, that. boy. That's going to be hard to see what's going on there, that's for sure. And why would that be pulled off? I think I want to get in before I start pushing buttons. You know what I mean? Choke, get that on, key on. To a, I don't remember anything that I have to turn on. You? 
No, I never touched any key, key switches or buttons in it. Oh. Got power. Got the fuel pump, man. Shows. Just that key switch is not. That, I don't know how you would get underneath there and pull the seat back out. I need a little light, Doug, if you're possible. Give me a little light. I want to take a look and just see if I got a wire off here or something somehow. Something stupid. Thanks, Doug. I get my big foot out of there. Ah. Up across the dam here. That's too Right there, it seems like it could be loose. It's moving. Right there at that switch. On the on this part right here, there's a loose wire. Seems to be loose. <laughs> Where's that function loose? This my whole system right there is loose. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And shut that off. That's odd. Oh, lock the steering wheel in there. Don't want to do that while I'm driving, do I? That's something. Pull that bundle back in and wonder if it'll work. <laughs> you yeah. never know, man. Sometimes it's the silliest thing. That... I just don't know. Like We've got electric fuel pump. I'm not sure what to say. Cross well, it over? Well, that did, we gotta. It's just out of gear and everything, is it? No, nope, I don't know. You're crossing over at right there, buddy, mm -hmm. on the solenoid? Yeah. Is it hold it? have a just... latch to hold it up or? I know there's one here. No, we, had, it had, we didn't hook it back up yet. Ah, okay. So, just a second. Sec, Doug. Let's push her back and forth. I just want to make sure it's. There is. Looks like there's a bit of a fuel leak right here. By the looks of your two chad look right around there. It's yeah. all wet. Well, that's probably me putting the. Yeah. Uh, Turn the fuel pump on. It's got to blow out somewhere. So. Doug, I'm gonna sit inside. You cross it over if you can with a screwdriver. shock myself here. There's something stuck on that 
solenoid, right? I'm not even touching it now. Hey! It's not doing it now. It's not doing it now? Try it again, I'll do it again. Something, something bad down here. Yeah. Is that a fuel pump on? What? Fuel pump on? No, it was, go ahead. There she goes. Want shut that hood? Shut that. Straighten it up. Good, 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 good. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You're dead on. Seem better outside. Hey. All right, get in, Doug. Let's go for a run. No, leave that on. Okay. All right. So the solenoid must be loose in this thing. Yeah, it's uh, it might be bad. I mean, because all the bolts are tight on it. So. Sweet gas. Er, you're on a dime, does she? Just didn't want to jump over that. There's a hubcap there, isn't there? Oh, is it? Yeah, there is. There's another corner. Gonna miss it? Yep. Oh, yeah, but I won't jump. Gotta get that one side connected down on that. One finished struggleful car. I hear the one side, we have no lock on that door. Yeah. idea when you got to turn it over the solenoid. Yeah. Well, it started to work. It's a uh, old school starter up truck man.
road. Road's excellent. <clears throat> Alrighty, there you go. The first run that she's ever had with her lower, we're being lowered. It did not bang anywhere at all on the lowering part. I do have a, a rattle going on back in the trunk part where the trunk lid's held down. We have a a, a pin on this side. We do not have a pin on this side, which allows this side to jump a little bit. This side's not jumping at all because we figured that out the other day, but we could not get another pin uh, to rock, get her rock and rolling. But there she is in all her glory. So we started with a two-door, a two-door sedan. We've cut the roof off and welded it on, it, on its bum. Um, I know it's hard to believe, but that's what we did. We cut the roof off. I don't know why I did that, but it just seemed to me like that was something that needed to be done. So we cut the roof off and we put it on the bum to make a coop. When we got making the coop, uh, Dan the man stopped in and said, you should make a bike hauler. But then my brain went to thinking, well, you know what? We're doing what we're doing. We're cutting the roof off to make the coop. Why not do the bike hauler? So that's what we went for. I'm going to show you that right now. I might as well go over it. So these are the two pieces sides of the roof that are welded on the back. We've got two clips here that Nathan has geared up uh, to hold the trunk lid on. Trunk lid on, just pick, picks it up like that, sets it on my knees like that, very easy. Pull that off, just set that aside for a second. That looks pretty good. That looks there good. is the, the ramp for the, for the bike if you want to haul a bike, if you want to haul a Christmas tree, if you want to haul anything <laughs> that can be pulled out. And what I mean by the rattle, we have a pin on this side. That's not moving that side. You can move that side. You can hear that. So that need, that there needs a pin on this side. And we will do that once we get another pin. I tried to get one. Um, so it will haul a motorcycle. It will haul a Christmas tree. It will haul just about anything you want it to haul, I guess. You want to take the trunk lid off and go for it. Uh, we might as well put that back on. It's light. It's not hard to handle. So you can do it by yourself? Yeah, do it by myself. Yeah. Nothing to it. Put it on like that. Got a little clip down here that holds that part. We got a clip down here that holds this part. Nathan did a good job on that. It holds the trunk lid down. They got we have taken a... I don't know what year, the Jaguar 59? 59 Jaguar roof. We've sectioned it and chop the windshield post and we put the Jaguar roof on it. Uh, we've also taken the door tops. The door tops are the back windows of the 38 two-door. That's the back window part. And we made it into the door top. We got our garnish moldings all cut down and put on. We've got our seat and everything back in the original place. All the garnish, like say garnish moldings are on. Ceiling is looking good. Behind the seat is looking good. We put louvers in the roof, uh, no, don't know why, but we did. Put louvers in the hood, um, because we put louvers in the roof. <laughs> we put louvers in the back. Um, the car was lowered in the front four inches, and it was lowered in the back four inches. Uh, it runs It runs really good, actually, compared yeah, to what it was running great. before. Uh, We've cut the chrome off. I got Nathan to do the chrome. The chrome was a bit longer. I'm not sure I explained that inside or not, but uh, made it shorter. Um, basically, that's where it's at. How you doing, Clarky? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. We changed the exhaust up a little bit. I want to let Lindsay know we got the damage fixed. <laughs> we fixed the damage that was in the back. And basically, this is the way I'm going to leave it. Like that. Like that. And then the reason I'm going to leave it that way, because... Cool. I feel like it deserves to be left that way. You want to go for a run, sweetheart? I'm hoping she'll stay running. If not, Doug, we'll give you a call. Yep. Thank you real long. <laughs> Take you home with my I'm hoping she'll start right up. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Something simple. Something simple. Put right back, Doug. Yep. Hey, baby. I want to go around the truck, I guess. But then again, when doesn't an old car rattle, right? 
got a good sound to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'll take that. Get that fixed. So I'm going to take Jolene down. We're going to go get a coffee. Pause the camera. She's gonna go and get us a coffee, and I and I am going to wait for her. We'll get her up here. All right, she's got the coffee. Let's rock and roll and take her home. This thing sounds good. People are smiling. stopping and uh, see me when I was turning the corner down there. He said he watches every night. He said the car looks fantastic. He wasn't expecting to see it out on the road today, but he said it looks fantastic. He loves it. it. Made me happy. I don't know if you know it or not, people, but having louvers in the hood makes a car ten times, ten miles an hour faster. Does it not? this one no. no no this is a hot rod I also have fender skirts for this car never said anything or never put them on or anything like that and the reason being is 
I didn't like them on it because it never had the, it never sloped down in the back a little bit. It's kind of got a hot rod look to it. It's got it going forward. So to me, I think I'll probably keep them off and save them for the next one. But they still could be put on. I'm just happy we got her driving it. Happy you got her driving it. When the roads are good, you don't hear the the trunk lid at all. But when you hit a small bump, you hear it. The front suspension is good. The back suspension is good. Oh, it yips me here. That is cool. Can't say no more about it than that. Wow. But uh, I want to thank everybody that's watched us do this car or build this car on YouTube. I appreciate it. Facebook, all the comments and all the responses, all the good ones, all the bad ones. We're going to call you Chad X. Chad Addicts, Chad X, something like that. But anyways, I want to thank you all for coming and watching uh, the progress of this car. Basically, we're basically done with the car, other than maybe a few other small little touches of the side windows and the rear window. But the car is running good. It drives good. I have to connect that back piece down because I don't want that rattling going on. But uh, yeah, it's been a good journey. And keep following because we're going to go get another one. Alrighty, man. Have a good day, and thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching. Write in a comment. Tell me if you really like it or if you really don't.